and welcome back to Ruby Vale Road. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to insert and sew an invisible zipper. You will need, of course, an invisible zipper. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using a contrasting zip to my project just so you guys can see things clearer, but obviously you'd want one that matches whatever it is that you are making. We're also going to need lots of pins, and I suggest these little silver pins just as they get in nice and close to the zipper teeth. And the most important tool we will need is an invisible zipper foot. You normally have to purchase this as like an accessory to your machine, uh, and there are different types of invisible zipper feet, but I definitely prefer one with these grooves which hold the teeth as you sew. To set up your sewing machine with the invisible zipper foot, you'll just need to unclip your normal foot and then click on your invisible zipper foot. As you can see, it's a bit different to the normal foot because it has the two bars, so it hooks onto the hook at the back and the hook at the front. And just so you know, uh, this is a Gymnomi sewing machine. Obviously too, you will need your current project ready for its invisible zipper. And my project is a gathered skirt with our lining. So first of all, we will need to find the middle of the waistband. So iron under the raw edge by the amount of seam allowance you left, and then iron the waistband in half. Mark this half middle point with a pin. Then we're going to do the same on the other side and make sure that the two sides match up perfectly. With your garment laying flat and the right side of the fabric facing up, lay your zipper in between also facing the right way up. And we can open the zipper and take the left side, we can flip it over and place this down onto the left side. You can see this hard plastic stopper at the top of the zip. This is going to go just under the pin we placed at the center width of the waistband. Next we need to pin the zipper in place all the way down. Down. As we do this though, we will need to keep the edge of the tape of the zip parallel to the edge of the fabric. It's also important to note that the zipper is one centimeter wide, so as I always use a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance, I then need to pin the zipper half a centimeter in from the edge of the fabric. Use your fingers to open and roll out the teeth of the zipper and put those pins in as close as you can to keep the teeth rolled out. We don't need to pin right to the bottom of the zip, stop about 1.5 centimeters from, from the head of the zip. Now we get to start sewing the zipper on the sewing machine. So seeing as we are doing the left side of the zipper, of course we're going to place the teeth into the left groove on the zipper foot. Now as we sew, of course when we start we do a reverse stitch, then sewing down the zipper we're going to use our fingers to keep the teeth rolled out and of course we need to take the pins out as we go. Definitely do not sew over any of the pins. And then when we get to the end, uh, we are going to finish uh, at the last pin, so like as we kept it about one and a half centimeters from the zipper head, and to finish always with a reverse stitch. So this is the left side complete, and as you can see it's looking really good. So at the top we'll need to fold over the waistband when we come to that once the whole zipper is in place, and then at the bottom there you can see where the stitching stopped and the tail of the zip. Now we're going to take a piece of uh, fabric chalk and we're going to mark where that zipper stopped at the end there on the other side so this is the right side of the zipper now and we're also going to mark it at the top and then I just put a little pin down the bottom and now we can start attaching it to the right side of the garment. Um, so again we're going to flip it over and so the zipper is facing down onto the right side of the fabric uh, and just following the same steps as before making sure we keep that same seam allowance and making sure it's all nice and straight all the way down and then putting the last pin there um, and chalking where it finished uh, on the left side so that those are going to meet up perfectly it's really important so pin that in place I put a little horizontal pin there just so I'm aware of it and that's where I know I need to stop and as you can see just always double check that you've got the zipper that it's not twisted or anything like that that it's lying nice and flat time to start sewing and this time the teeth of the zipper will be going into the right groove of the zipper foot again just sewing just the same pulling out the pins as you go and rolling out the teeth of the zipper to film this, I was using one hand to hold the camera and one hand to actually sew this. So with practice, it definitely gets easier and just remember to go as steady as you need to go. Now we have both sides stitched in and it is looking very invisible, especially for a blue zipper in a black and white fabric. Then here is the inside seam of the zipper. To sew the rest of the seam, we are going to start just a little bit above where the stitching of the invisible zipper stop, then go all the way down to the hem with 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Change back over to our normal foot and you can see better here that I started 
uh, just a bit above where the stitching ended for that invisible zip. It's very important um, not to just start like at the bottom of the tape of the zip because obviously we need all of the stitches to join up perfectly. We don't want any holes in our seams. With the whole seam stitched, now we can give it a really good iron. So of course press the seam flat on the inside and then press the seam flat on the outside. Then we're going to do just a little stitch at the end of the zipper to attach it to the seam. This helps the seam to sit flatter but just make sure that the zipper and the seam meet exactly where they want to meet so that it doesn't pucker. See here how the zipper ends are uh, just at the where the bottom of the seam actually starts so the zipper doesn't actually end at the plastic stop that it has down the bottom here it ends where you start the seam so where those stitches there join is where the zipper ends. Then finally you can finish off the waistband by folding it over the top of the zip. Do not cut the top of the zip, just sort of fold it um, and poke it into the waistband. And for final touch, a hook and eye is very, very important. It just helps keep everything together. I really hope this tutorial helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave it a like and subscribe to Ruby Vale Road for more sewing tutorials.